Those are the better questions we should be asking. If you're doing so great, how come? hurt so bad oh, <laughs> I mean both. we're both well I, I think I think all that all that innovation all those outcrops of wonderful things those are all happening but I think it's happening around the edges what's happening at the center of higher education for the majority of students are those miserable statistics that Jeff put up there a little while ago and that is the experience of at the overwhelming majority of, of students, and right. that's that's the tragedy. So I don't so, think anybody so would argue right. that the innovation exists, but you know you uh, also no, have no, to. I'm just pointing out that there's no. It's not that it's innovation versus universities. Universities are seeding innovation. We would not they have are, universities. Very small no, way. no, oh, no. You got you. Got Individual soybean the, the lately, the we're gonna let, soybeans grow. We're gonna let right, Anne, nine, nine, we're gonna let <laughs> Anne have the floor. Yeah, sorry, Those are that? individuals. Those are individuals who are doing wonderful things, oh, no. okay? Institutionally, <laughs> universities stifle innovation. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Well, I, I got I to tell you, I think that as the, as the whole culture of universities sort of lumbers forward, it is very hard right. for universities to let that innovation innovation thrive. So, so I think there is tremendous innovation, and most of it is coming from faculty. But in many cases, finding ways to institutionalize that and break through some of the barriers that would let students thrive in large numbers, that's a tough, that's okay. a tough, Those are different tough challenges, shift. right? To say that innovation, especially innovation that transforms America, like the soybean, which grows beautifully in this country because of research at Iowa State, not because of individuals at Iowa State, but the entire institution funded by the Department of Agriculture, funded by the National Science Foundation, right? That teamwork created this soybean revolution. 